Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Uh, the tractor up here has actually just stopped. He was chugging along quite nicely, but I think he's run out of seed. Yes, he has. So we'll run him down and fill him up with seed a minute. And then I will show you my solution to getting the... Um, ooh, he nearly got to the end of the row there. My solution to getting the fuel up there to the beast. And that beast, I'm looking forward to using that beast. That thing looks awesome. So I've got a tractor just over there with a trailer on it. And that had a high point on the trailer. There's a high hitch, which is the same as what's on the back of the telehandler. So I thought, well, we'll just um, link the two together. We'll do the two together. You can probably see what I've done down there now. And yes, there are those of you who will argue that this is not possible. You can't do this. I beg to differ. Yes, it wasn't a Volkswagen Golf that we used to use on one particular farm to drag the fuel bows around. It was an old Ford Escort, which I would argue is actually not as powerful as a um, Volkswagen Golf. Uh, but anyway, it did do it. Yes, it complained mightily, and we didn't do it all the time, but it would do it. It would actually pull it through, um, even though it did struggle to get up some of the hills. Um, Probably not the best way to treat a car, but this was an old clapped out piece of junk that we used to use exclusively for driving around on the farm for various different tasks. And we didn't ever take it on the road. It was never taken on the road. It wasn't a taxed vehicle. It stayed purely on the farm. Um, it didn't have an MOT. Uh, to be honest, I don't think it would have even been possible to get it through an MOT and tax it and all the rest of it because I think it was just too far gone for that. However, it did have a solid robust hitch that we had put on and welded in place to make sure everything was absolutely perfect and it used to pull the fuel bowser from time to time. So I just, yeah, I was, I was looking around, I was thinking, well, which tractor shall I use? Um, I need to take it up with a tractor. I don't really want to unhitch the Sammy and take that back and forth and so on. Um, so what do I do? And I thought, let's do the car. Why not? Anyway, my weekly question before I go any further, I'm getting a little bit carried away here. Um, which combine would you like me to use? I have decided that we are going to sell the old combine that we are using, and we're going to buy a brand shiny new combine, or we're probably not going to buy it. We're probably just going to hire it. So do you want me to get the Lexian 460 or the Lexian 430? Now these two are small combines that we wouldn't normally use on any other map, but we are going to be able to use them on this map because this is a small map. I thought it would be absolutely perfect and would fit quite nicely with everything that is going on here. So now we need to get this one up here and you can see that the Bowser is actually quite low on the ground so the back wheel isn't even touching the ground. Um, oh it is, it's just clipping there a bit now that the suspension is kicking in because of the weight of the fuel in there. Um, Trust me, you have to take corners very, very steadily when you're doing something like this. Um, we're going to ignore the bit where we're going on the road because, um, yeah, you. I think there's a weight limit on a car on the road. So this, technically, this bit is illegal. Um, but we're going, we're going to pretend that it's not. We're going to pretend that everything is all tickety-boo and everything is okay and we're not driving on the road, okay? So just imagine that this is a private road and, no, and we own it ourselves. I think that is the way forward with this. We're gonna have to do a bit of um, imagination and role play, just, just a teensy bit. Anyway, um, it is, yeah, it is pulling it all right, actually. It does seem to do the job quite nicely. I know that it does seem a bit ridiculous and um, yeah, that, that poor car did used to complain somewhat when it was doing it, it, it struggled with it. So now the next question, of course, is can I refill from here? I don't. I can't do it from that side, so I need to go into the... I'll probably turn the car off, actually, just leave that fuel bowser there. I'm not sure. So we need to go to the back of this machine, and we need to open the back hatch. i open that one there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right, so that's the engine. Uh, open the control panel is this one. There we go, right, fuel level is currently zero. Start engine, I can't start the engine without having filled the fuel. Uh, oh, don't tell me I've got to have detach mobile fuel tank. Don't tell me that I've got to actually have that thing hitched on to something 
so that I can refill the fuel. That could be a bit of a nuisance. I guess I could do it if I go and hire a dolly and do it that way, but that's, that's kind of a shame, really. I was hoping not to have to be, do anything like that. Let's try just putting this right up close, because sometimes you do have to get fairly close to get these things to work. Right, I can detach the mobile fuel tank. Right, well, we'll try detaching it a second and see if it makes any difference. Right, uh, start engine, attach, enter. No. It's not letting me start the engine because it has no fuel. Close back hatch, start engine, attach. It's still saying close. There's no option. Right. You know what? I'm going to have to go and play around with this. I think I've actually got to have this machine hooked up to something to be able to fill it. If I press R, is that going to do it? That's just... No, it's not It's not going to let me do it at all, is it? I can't do it like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go a second. And I will just come down here. Is there anything at this end? No. No, I've got, it looks like I've got to get a dolly and bring that up here and try it that way. So I will meet you in a minute once I've figured this one out. Right, I have taken the Sammy up there with the Flegel Bull on the back. And I now have the Lindner Geotrack with a dolly on the back. I've hired the dolly for the day. And I suppose really I should have, um, thinking about it, just left the lorry with this trailer when I first set the map up. Uh, but I didn't, so, you know, we, we're just going to have to work with it the way things are. And I apologise for that. It's kind of messed things up a little bit and maybe broken immersion a bit. Um, right, if I can bring this one round, hopefully the dolly can go on the front of that trailer and then we can actually get some operations on it because this is completely um, breaking immersion as far as I'm concerned. Being it, having to do this just to fill the fuel tank. I don't like that we got to do this, but there we go. Some things can't be helped. So now, if I pop that on there and then look at this, uh, right, that's the trailer. It's it's not giving me any options now. How do I do this? This. Oh, 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 oh! Hang on a minute. No, wasn't wasn't there some other options? Please detach vehicle first. I want to fill it up with fuel. Please let me fill it with fuel. Uh, what's this? Hmm. No. So, yeah, I, I remember now. It says you have to detach it before you can do anything. So, I've detached it. So, now what? And then you got... Well, maybe if I close the back hatch, maybe that'll do it. Is that going to let me find any way to fill this up with fuel? Detach mobile fuel tank. Right. Detach the vehicle first. Close the control panel. Right, let's close the control panel. Is that going to give me any options for filling this thing with fuel? I'm going to figure this out now, and then I will tell you how I do it, because this, I'm, I'm, I apologise for this. I should have checked this out beforehand. Right, I tried all sorts of things, and this is a little bit annoying. Just a tiny bit frustrating. Let me show you what I mean. I just need to rehitch this one back onto here so that we can decimate the gearbox on our poor Volkswagen Golf just a little bit further. <laughs> That's making him back. <laughs> Look how far he sunk into the ground. Oh, that's terrible. Right, so let's bounce him along over here and abuse the poor machine just a little bit further. And then I will pop back into here. And if I go... Actually, I'll just unhitch like that and then start this tractor up. Move it away. I think it'll still work. I'm hoping it will. Let me just stop that one right there a second and then we run back over here and watch. There we go. Detach. Enter. What? No, 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 no. It was, it was, it was working. Hang on. Maybe it's around this side. It definitely worked. I definitely, definitely seen it work. Oh, there, right, right in front of there, look. Now, let's see. Is it going to do it? Is it going to let me do it? Enter, detach. It worked, it worked, it worked. It really did. I, I actually seen it there. Maybe I was looking at something different. 
it definitely had the option to refuel. I seen it with my own two eyes. Let me just bring it along a little bit further and see what it does there. I probably should have done it while I had the chance. Okay, I'll get back to you. Right, now it's giving me the option to refuel. So apparently you do have to have it hitched up. Uh, detach mobile fuel. Oh, maybe I need to detach it first before it'll do it. No. Or maybe it's... Well, it did it before. Okay. For some strange reason, previously I got out of the tractor and I stood next to the machine and it did come up with an option on the F1 control panel up there that would allow me to refuel. It, it, it was there. I've seen it. I've seen it with my own two eyes. It was working. Uh, then it decided to stop and now it's only working from the tractor. So apparently we do need to have a tractor here. So I should probably have just left the lorry attached to it. Um, but fortunately now we do have a tractor here. I can move this slightly because I think that that overload a bit is going to be not quite high enough. Because um, we got that Flegel Bull and that's quite a tall trailer. I don't know how much fuel it actually takes. I'm just going to leave it there filling. And then while that is filling, we can go back around here. And you need to open the back hatch first so that you can have the engine... Oh no, maybe not. Do you actually... Oh, there we go. Right. Detach the vehicle first. Ah. That's why it wouldn't do it. So we come back onto here. Now we can unhitch that one. And we can move forward. So let's just go down here. We'll park this one. You can just stop right there. We're not going to do very much more with that one for a second. And then back up here. I've spent all this time. I've just wasted a lot of time now. I'm, I'm very conscious of the fact that I've wasted a whole load of time doing this. And I apologise for that. I shouldn't have done that. Right. Now it's... That's what I had to do. I had to come back here. I had to put it down there. And then I had to put it up here. So then you could refuel. And it would work. I knew I, ha I knew I'd seen it somewhere. Right, so that one can stay open, and then we can start the engine. I think we'll open up the back hatch just so, because we can. It's going to let me do it. It doesn't want me to. But anyways, chugging away. So now that it's started, we want to fold out the support feet. There we go. Yeah, it's going to lift it right up in the air. There we go. Look at that. That thing is so cool. I love this machine. I genuinely love this machine. Uh, pipe out. We want that one to come out there. How high is that going to be? Are we going to be able to get our Flegel trailer underneath there? Or are we going to need to move it? If we need to move it, I will do that between this episode and the next one. Choose work light. I'm not going to worry about that. Pipe in. Turn on the wood crusher. Stop the engine. Okay, let's turn this beast on. And we'll leave that running. I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to drag this one out the way. We'll put that one there and... Let's move this one. Look at that. Chugging out black smoke. That's great for the environment, that is. Just stop right there. Okay, we've got all these machines up here. We've got a lovely work, sort of work area going on. This is fantastic. I'm loving this. And, right. I'm pretty sure there is a way that you can... Oop, no, I don't want to go in there. Ah! No! Scary things! Yeah, there's, there's a viewing platform there. So you chuck, basically what you do is you chuck the logs in, the wood chips come along here. It does have a small storage tank here. It's not that big a storage tank though. As far as I remember, it is not that big. So let's just see if the bull will go underneath. That's the next test. I think it will. I think that will just fit. And we do, we could do with having the trailer underneath it because it does, um, because it's only got a very small storage tank. Is it going to fit? It will. Look at that. There we go. Right, so that one can stop right there. I'll turn you off. Uh, climb out of you. Okay, I can get rid of that for a second. Now let's see if we can actually put a log in. This was with the, the whole point of this episode was we were supposed to put logs in. And then we were supposed to take them off down across the map. And we haven't done any of that because all we've been doing is messing around with trying to get fuel into this machine. And it turned out to be very, very simple. And I probably could have done that in a couple of minutes. But it will give you something to tell your grandchildren about. How's that? I'm not quite sure why you would be telling your grandchildren about it, but, you know, I just thought it was something I could have said. Yeah, I know. I'll stop now. There we go. Right, so we've got our first log. It's a little bit small, but 
you know, let's, let's start this machine off gently and go from there. Right, I want to... No, 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 no. I want to keep that closed. I want to extend the boom a bit. Well, I'm not doing this from in the cab. I'm not going to be able to see a thing if I try and do it like that. So let's go there. Drop it down a bit. Open it. There we go. And straight in. Look at that beautiful animation. That is fantastic. That was fan schmabulous. Awesome. Right, and that has given us 1,237 litres of wood chips. Just from that tiny little log. Although that was from the very bottom of the tree, so that might have made a difference. Now, uh, I'm going to try and get this next one here. This is a big, a bit of a bigger log. Hopefully our machine can handle it. Uh, I'm going to lift it up like that. Now, if I go sideways on. There we go. Close the log. There we go. Right, it does have a little bit of a branch on it. Those are sliding down, so we'll have them down here in a second. I probably should move this thing out further, a little bit further out than it is. Just so that we can have some easier access. I think this log's going to be too long, you know. I don't think it's going to fit. It might. It might just let it let us do it anyway. I'm kind of hoping it does. Because this is going to be a beauty. Right, you ready? I know what you want to see. There we go. Ho, 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 ho! Look at that! Oh, that's fantastic. The black smoke comes belching out. Oh, that was brilliant. That was absolutely superb. <laughs> right, that's given us 4,000 litres. Just from that, those two little logs. That's brilliant. Okay, let's get another one. Uh, what have we got now? We got a uh, little one right there. That's not going to do very much. There we go. Let me come round slightly to the side. That's an easier angle to see what I'm doing if I can do it like that. Oop. Right. As always, the easiest way to pick these up is the complete... Oop. Okay, apparently not. I was going to say the easiest way to pick these up is the most unrealistic way of doing it, but apparently you can't pick them up like that either. You just can't pick them up. You've got to just ease in very very carefully and no okay this log fork doesn't like me or well, the log doesn't like me one or the other oh have I got it have I got it have I picked something up no of course I haven't right now we've got the epic struggle of trying to get logs onto the log fork it would be better if I could have a slightly better log fork I guess like the one that goes on to the... No, it's, it's not the telehandler. On to the other machine. What is it? No, no, no. Now, if I, if I open it, it's going to push... Oh, no, there we go. Now, right, grip it. Pull it round. Okay, lift it up. No. Well, it's kind of holding it. It's pinching it. Um, oh, don't do that. If I lift you up... No, you're just going to... Ugh. Uh, th there's a reason I don't particularly like doing forestry work. Okay? There, there is a reason. Because, yeah, it's... Or if you were doing this in real life, those forks, you would just push them into the ground ever so slightly. They would go underneath the log, and there you go. Everything would be tickety-boo. Um, but, of course, you can't do that. And the only real way to do it for us is to do it like this. Go right over, which is the most unrealistic way that there is to pick anything up. But that's about the only way that I can ever actually do this, unless you've got loads of logs up against each other, and then you can kind of force your way on. Anyway, I have got one. Uh, there we go. Ease back a bit. And in we go. Look, oh, oh, hang on, black smoke. <laughs> oh, this thing is brilliant. I really do love this machine, this beast. This is also, this is the best wood chipper that I have encountered in this game. I have tried the Jens wood chipper a little bit. I think I did try it a bit in one of the time lapse films, actually. Um, I found it to be an absolutely awful machine. I really did not enjoy my time with that machine. Uh, it caused the game to crash most horribly. And overall, I was less than impressed. And I know that I am frequently less than impressed with things, but uh, this particular time I was even less so than normal. Um, 
you know, I, I kind of, I have standards, and when a machine just completely messes the game up, and the whole game crashes, and then you, I'm actually, that's my timer to say that we have run out of time, so I apologise for spending too much time on, I'm pressing the wrong button here, I want to do that, there we go, I apologise for spending so much time today, oh, that way, that way, um, <laughs> excellent. Yeah, I apologise for the amount of time today that I spent trying to refuel this machine when it turned out that it was actually quite simple. Um, for anybody that does know how to use the beast properly, uh, I am very, very sorry. Um, I didn't mean to upset you quite so much. Um, it upset me as well, so if that's any consolation to you, I won't be doing that again, don't worry. So, our next episode we are going to be dragging these wood chips down and putting them into... Uh, start making our beehives and both of the beehive makers are actually in the dealership so that'll be quite easy for us and then I'm not quite sure we want to take a bit more milk up the top I suppose and we'll need to start topping up the water tanks so I will look in the meantime for a, um, a mod that will provide us with free water because you know, most farms do actually have access to their own water supply so paying a fortune for the water I think isn't necessary not for this one there we go look at that belching the smoke again so um my question for this week i've got a couple of little logs here i don't know if i'm actually going to bother with those right now because i think we've got enough logs uh my question for this week is do you want me to buy well not buy use the lexian 430 or the lexian 460 keep in mind that i used to drive the lexian 430 just want to throw that out there um, it's your vote, it's your game. Head down to the comment section down below and let me know what you think. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give me a like. Actually, I'm going to turn this machine off before we do anything else. And if you really enjoyed this episode, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be absolutely awesome. Uh, turn off. Stop engine. There we go. All right, I'm going to leave that one like that. It's all set and ready to go. And I'm going to start taking this down to the dealership and we will be tipping it out in our next episode. Nine tons. That's probably enough for now. Oh, oh there's a great big lump there, this one. Um, yes, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. And, uh, oh, there was something else I was going to say. Uh, it's gone. Yep, yeah, so anyway, uh, again, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.